Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, um, I am starting a new series on the channel, which is going to be my favorite weapons um, of all time. Like, I'm going to take a M4, build it the way I like to use it, and then um, that's going to be one video. And then afterwards, after I've done the build, giving you a chance to try it out yourself, there's also going to be videos coming um, in the future where I um, show off the weapon in various raids, um, probably around three raids per weapon, to see what we can get done, to see some of the highlights um, for you guys to check out. And uh, now, obviously we have the cheap weapon series, but this is not going to be like that. I'm not going to be focused on what a weapon costs, because at this point for me, um, and for some of you probably, if you've been uh, following the channel for a while, the cost of a weapon doesn't really matter anymore. You have enough money, you have your Bitcoin farm. If you follow all the guides on the channel, you've made loads of money, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, and we are want, we're just wanting to use some very, very cool weapons now that look cool, feel cool, and it's just fun to use them. So today we are going to start with TX-15, and then at the start of next week, there's going to be the, uh, the video where I use it. Um, when that comes out i'll link it in the video description i hope you guys enjoy it let's get straight into the build of the weapon okay so first up let's talk a little bit about the ex-15 in general it's a semi-automatic um, american rifle which uses the 5.56 times 45 nato rounds um it's a really good weapon but keep in mind the m995 which is the best ammo right now for this type of weapon is not as powerful as let's say the bp ammo so the thing that really makes this kind of weapon shine the m4s the hks um the adars and the tx15 is the fact that the recoil pattern is very very easy um it's a lightweight weapon if you build it like this and the sound of the gun is amazing now for this weapon you're looking at around 300,000 rubles which isn't too bad for a for a weapon with these stats, it's absolutely amazing. 68 ergonomics, 57 vertical recoil, and 156 horizontal recoil. Keep in mind, this is not the best build. I like to use it like this also because I am a sucker for a nice looking weapon. I feel like all these parts we're using for this weapon really fit well together. Um, there's different options for scopes, for silencers that wouldn't really make too much of a difference. But this is the way I build mine, and this is the way I truly love it. So, I'll show you the weapon real quick. Look at that. If that's not a beauty, I don't know what is. And that's why it's also called the TX-15 Beauty. Now, for the parts, obviously it starts off with the TX-15. What you want to do is you want to put on a MFT bus stock. The reason why you want to choose the bus stock is because it costs like anywhere around eight to ten thousand rubles, and it actually lowers your recoil significantly. It's one of the best stocks um, you can use. Price, like, it's the best the best bang for your buck, if you ask me. I use it on all my builds, um, especially because it's so easily, easily cheap. Because it's so cheap. Eddie, English. For the barrel, we're using the 260mm barrel. Reason why is because this weapon is actually quite short. It looks very long now. But it really isn't that long for a, for a DMR. For a semi, semi-automatic like rifle. Very short. You can use it in close quarters as well. Especially with the NC star laser. Which makes hip firing very, very good. Um... We have this STNGR Viper 10-inch M-Lock foregrip with, uh, for the AR-15. AR Both the, um, the side pictures are Magpul Embus, the black one, so the Gen 2 rear sight and front sight. For the sight, I like to use the EOTech HHS-1 sight, but let's be honest here, this one is really expensive. What you could also do is go for something like a Monstrum. And then just chug on a NC star backup mount with a PK06 on there. This is a very, very, very good way to build the weapon too. So for the rest of the weapon, if you look at the silencer, 
I'm using the AAC Blackout because the price is normally okay. It's not too expensive, not too cheap. Um, you can also use the Wave MB uh, muzzle brake like this with the Wave. Um, there's loads. KAC is also viable, which even makes the weapon shorter, um, which I could recommend. Same with the one mount. The, um, the, the one mount is pretty short with the Gemtech. The... Um, the gem tech with the one mount, like I said, the wave MB is also very short, and the KAC all very viable. Um, just honestly, just choose which one is cheapest at the moment. But if you want to go for the best one, um, it's probably going to be the wave QD. I highly recommend using the wave QD for this because it really re reduces your recoil a lot. Um, I'm going to show you the weapon in action as well what you could also do is the moe pistol grip you could switch out for the um ergo psg one style pistol grip just to have more ergonomics um and this way you have you're even looking at 75 ergonomics so this is the absolute favorite way i build my ex15 i'm going to show you in the hideout okay so right now we have the weapon with the um wave qd and the and the psg ergo um like this this is the way i like to build it there's also this variant i have these two ways of building it the um the variant with the sdn6 has a little bit longer um barrel just because the um silencer is that long and it uses the standard pistol grip just to cut costs a little bit but as you can see um, Stat-wise, the ergonomics and the recoil are much better with the Wave QD and the PSG-1 um, pistol grip. So, try to build it like that. Um, let's just see how it performs. As you can see, there's like no recoil at all. It's incredibly easy to use this weapon. Even like just hip-firing. Incredibly easy. Um, the ergonomics are intensely high. With this sight, it's very easy to just go from close range. Close range to long range is a absolute charm. Like you have the just the regular hip fire for when a target is extremely close like this. Works very well. If they're a little bit further, you can always just zoom in with this type of scope and then if you want to go a little bit further away there you go now i really hope this weapon build helps you guys out i really hope you like it if you have liked it if you've tried it let me know in the comment section down below how you like it um remember as soon as i have the video ready uh, where i tried this weapon out in different maps different raids i'll leave the link in the description down below as well don't forget i stream on twitch every day of the week so if you want to come and hang out over there uh, don't forget to do so it's always a lot of fun for me to see you guys come in from the youtube channel so i'd like to thank you guys for watching um leave a like on the video if you liked it i'll see you next time eddie out